Hello Tab Nation, it's your boy Tom, and today we're going to be doing a quick, it's going to be like three parts, it's going to be about math, we're using auto hockey, you can use this a lot, especially in a work environment, to kind of sort a whole bunch of numbers, change the numbers, there's a whole bunch of different things you could really do. We're going to start this video with kind of just general math. We'll then do like a medium level kind of math, and then we'll do like really hard math stuff. Now, I do not promise that I'm very good at math, so some of this stuff kind of went over my head. If you explain anything a little bit better, definitely put it in the comments below. Never really did well in math, but I figured I'd show these, let you guys know that they exist, and explain a few of them. Some of them I did have to get help on, so I will be reading some experts uh, writings about what it actually means. But yeah, let's take a look. So this video, we're just starting out with kind of just very general math stuff. So I already have the script running in the background just so we can get some message boxes to see the results and kind of understand a little bit better. So the first one is an absolute ABS. And here's kind of, I put in the notes, kind of like the uh, syntax to it. So it's value. You could do it this way if you want to get an actual variable. But we're going to be using messages boxes so that it's just one line of code that we're using. But, you know, I threw that in there just in case you guys want to use it in a different way. We're doing this more of a display way since this is a video. So the first one, absolute. That's just going to turn the value into an absolute, which just means like basically it's going to get rid of that negative right there. It's just going to make it into an absolute number, which is basically just a positive. So we'll go ahead and push number one, which is my hotkey. If you don't know what a hotkey is, you should probably not be watching this video. And there we go. Now, this, a lot of times, some of these will string out a bunch of extra zeros. You can always use like a string replace or split, whatever works best for you to kind of clean that up a little bit better. Maybe you just want that 1.2 and you don't want all those zeros. So you can definitely do that. Next one, cell or ceiling. Uh, that's basically just going to take the number up to the, uh, it's going to round it to the nearest whole number. So even if you have a negative or a positive, it's going to round. So here we're just doing percent sign, so 1.2 as an example, negative 1.2 as an example. So the first one, 1.2, it's going to round it up to 2. And then for 1.2, it's going to round it up to negative 1 because negatives round in the opposite way as you're trying to get to zero there before going up now on the other side of things we got floor floor does the exact same thing as ceiling but in the opposite direction it's going to round down so our 1.2 there becomes a one and then our negative 1.2 is going to become a negative two so we're just rounding up rounding down with these last two now, these two kind of went over my head. Uh, like I said, I don't know, but it's EXP. Uh, this is going to be 1.2, but it's going to return 3.320117. Nice long string there. So I'm going to read actually a thing I have pulled up here for that. The exponential function is a mathematical function detonated by, denoted by fx equals slash EXP or E upper x uh, yeah this is a lot it can be defined in several equations it's really just kind of over my head so definitely check that out i'm going to put a link for the wikipedia on this in there as you see like wow that's a lot so i'm not sure when you would use this if you know definitely let me know like what kind of situations would come up where you would need to use this kind of function like I said, kind of went over my head on there, and uh, the auto hotkeys doesn't really have a description very well of what it's really you know doing there. So I'll link the Wicca instead. Um, so yeah, the other one too was log. Uh, that returns the logarithm of base ten of a number. That's another one I'm going to link in the description below for the Wikipedia. Uh, but that one, where's that? Number five. So that's just going to take 1.2 and it's turning it into 0.079186. And a lot of long strings here for these kind of things. 
Now, this one I like a lot, max and minimum. I could definitely see myself using this quite often compared to all the other stuff in here. That's just going to take a big string of numbers. You can also put a variable in here, like if you're building some sort of array, depending on what you want to do. But we just hard-coded the numbers in here. So we got 2.11, negative 2, and 0. So out of these three numbers, the maximum number, the highest number, is the 2.11. So that's just going to return that. So that's a great way if you have a whole bunch of numbers, maybe like you're using some type of like pricing system and you want to find what the maximum sell is or something, you could definitely do that. And then on the other side of things, we got minimum, which is doing the exact same thing up here. We use the exact same numbers, but this time negative two is the smallest number. So that is the answer we're going to get. Once again, I could see you using this in like a sales situation. Maybe you're doing some side of web scraping and you're trying to find the lowest price of some item maybe you could use this to scour a bunch of websites and then be like hey here's where it's currently the cheapest and then have it you know perform an action like to buy something or something i could also see you using this in kind of like a stock automation i know a lot of people are really into that kind of stuff so these are the two that i think i could see people using by far the most and would have the most interesting results Next up is mod, which stands for mod module, uh, module module. <laughs> like I said, I'm not the greatest at math here, but basically what that's doing is taking uh, when you divide, what is it by uh, a dividend versus its divider? Let's see here. Yeah, a dividend is divided by a divisor. Okay, I got that somewhat right. <laughs> Proud of myself. If you're proud of me, hit that like button below. Make sure you subscribe. I'm throwing two, three videos out with automation every week. And I'm doing, you know, auto hockey 90% of the time. But I do branch out into other automation stuff like Python, JavaScript, that sort of stuff. Next up, we got round. That one's pretty easy. You're just rounding. At least I know that part. So here we got 3.14. Uh, we're going to round it, which is just going to give us a 3. So it's rounding to either a 3 or a 4, but since it's closer to th that one point, that point 0.14 is closer to 3, it's going to go there. Now, the next one is if we want, it's we're doing the exact same thing, but you can actually add an option for here for how many decimals you want to go over. So let's say we want to round the point 0.1 versus the 3. We're going to do that, and we're going to get 3.1. So let's go ahead and run that. What is that, 9? We got 3, and then we got that 3.1. You know, and if you add, like, 5, well, that wouldn't really work here because you don't have 5, so it just kind of return to whatever the next one is. So if you put a 5 here, it would still return 3.1 just because that's going to be the nearest thing that it can get to. And the last one is SQRT, which is square root. So what is the square root of 16? Well, that is just 4. So what did I use there? 0. Now this is another one that's going to spit out an, a lot of extra zeros there that we're usually not going to want. Just go ahead and clean that up with like a string split or replace or something like that. You could have, you know, it remove all zeros so that those just don't show up after a point. So like a string replace, 0 .000, replace with nothing. And that's just going to delete it. There's a few different ways you can do it, but I've done other videos on how to clean up strings. Definitely check that out. And that is it for general math. We'll be doing some more advanced math. Hopefully I can explain it very well. And if you guys have any questions on this video, definitely let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys on the next one.